With the release of the Bloody Harvest event came some awesome new weapons and extremely powerful anointments, featuring a new mechanic, Terror. These anointments can give you increased weapon damage, mag regeneration, health regeneration, and some more cool stuff. So with all these powerful new toys came one more problem. How do we get to play with them? Today I'm going to show you guys where I think the best place to farm these weapons and gear is. So before we get into the video, thank you, thank you, thank you all for 500 subs. That is literally halfway to a thousand and I just started this channel two weeks ago. Shout out to all of my subs too because I checked the analytics and all of you are showing up to watch again and again. I love you all. Let's get into the video. So. As soon as I saw some of these cool anointments going around, I wanted in on some of the fun too. I'm sure you guys do. But, um, so basically I started playing the event over and over again, grinding for the anointed gear. Uh, the thing is, this event kind of takes a long time to complete. You have to go kill and collect 25 ghost souls or ghost goo or whatever. Then you have to run through the heck hole to kill Hop Captain Haunt. And sometimes he doesn't even drop a legendary. So in this video, I'm testing a couple different farming spots, and I'm going to tell you guys where I think the best place to find this anointed gear is. I was talking to some friends about it, and the first thing one of them mentioned was to try out the slaughter shaft. It's filled with these ghosts right now, and by the time you finish, there's tons of legendary drops at the end too. So that's what I went and did. I picked a build I know is basically proven to be able to beat all five rounds. Um, I'll put the build I used in a pin on the video and in the description. And I beat all five rounds. So I didn't count how many legendaries total at the end. It was probably around 15 to 20, probably closer to 15. But when I finished farming uh, this area, I found seven anointed terror weapons and gear total. So I looked at my VOD and it took me about 45 minutes to do the whole slaughter shaft. So when I move on, I'll farm each other spot for about 45 minutes. So first I moved on to the farm everyone goes to, Grave Ward. We all use this farm because it's usually the most consistent. Um, and I was farming him yesterday and I remember seeing some of these terror anointments. So I thought this would be a good place to go and test. So I'm not going to stretch this part out long. We're all used to farming Grave Ward. We all know Grave Ward. Grave Ward, Grave Ward, Grave Ward. So I killed him over and over again for 45 minutes. I uh, killed him uh, only with only enough time for him to tilt the floor once. So pretty fast. Um, maybe not as fast as like a flak or something. But I found 10 anointed terror items. So this alone makes this a way better spot to farm for these items in Slaughter Shaft. And on top of that, um, you definitely get more loot here in general. Um, this is a dedicated boss farm versus uh, farming mobs. So this is already better than Slaughter Shaft um, by a pretty substantial amount. Plus like 45 solid minutes of farming Grave Ward is probably dozens of legendaries easily. Um, I didn't keep count. So anyways, to be honest, I actually was expecting more from Grave Ward, especially because um, if you're watching this video right now, we have, the, uh, we have the event going on that gives more anointed legendary drops. So I was expecting more and I kind of thought to myself, um, I still think there's probably a better spot to farm these items. So I went back to the heck hole, back where the event was, um, because I noticed every legendary here pretty much is terror anointed from what I can tell. So instead of going all the way to Trot, I stopped early up at these pumpkins back where the secret chest is. And if you didn't know, you can just look at these pumpkins, read them in order, and then ring the bells uh, in that order. By the way, read them in order from right to left. But um, yeah, then you ring the bells in that order, and then it gives you access to these secret chests. So basically, you can farm this whole front area, and then get these two chests back here. Um, there's also these two other chests that spawn sometimes in this front area here and here. I'll put clips in the video. Wait one second. 
So these chests don't spawn every time, but check to see if they're there. Um, usually one of them spawns. Uh, so anyways, I then farmed this spot for 45 minutes. And once again, wouldn't you know it, I only found six legendaries. So this was even worse than Slaughter Shaft. Um, this actually totally surprised me. I thought we would be able to find at least one legendary per run. But unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So, moral of the story, guys. Farm Grave Ward. Always farm Grave Ward. He's always been there for us since the launch of this game. And he will probably be the spot to farm until Borderlands 4 comes out. So, take it easy, guys. I'm going to kill Grave Ward for the thousandth time. Peace.